Welcome, friends. It's Gisa. I love visiting national parks. And if you haven't already visited a national park here in the United States, I encourage you to do so because they are just wonderful and each one is so unique. Recently, I went to visit Sequoia National Park in Kings Canyon, which are right next to each other. And it was my second time visiting. This time we camped, which made it really special. And I have a story that I'd like to share with you. It's called The Sequoia Lives On. It's written by Joanna Cook and illustrated by Fiona Sai. Giant sequoias are living wonders. In groves scattered along the Sierra Nevada, a mountain range in California, sequoias dwarf all their neighbors. No other trees are as tall and wide and magnificent. Stand beneath a sequoia and anything seems possible. Gaze into its branches and wonder how the sequoia lives on. The sequoia is Earth's most massive tree, the height of three blue whales, stacked chin to tail and weighing even more. It begins life as most trees do, as a seed, a flake no bigger than an ant. How does such a tiny seed grow into a tree as heavy as 300 elephants? The sequoia seed relies on fire. A blaze crawls on the forest floor, clearing away fallen leaves and broken branches in which a seed might disappear. Rising heat from the fire warms the sequoia's scaly cones, drying and opening them, then setting the brown seeds adrift in smoke-filled air floating toward a place to grow. On newly uncovered soil, a seed rests in a shaft of sunlight. Roots anchor it to the ground and a seedling grows up and up toward golden beams shining through the canopy, the highest layer of branches in the forest. Up and up the seedling reaches for sunlight that has traveled all the way from the sun to earth. Sequoia leaves take in that sunlight and also air Exhale and breath could become food for a sequoia, and the sequoia lives on. When fire is absent in a sequoia grove, the seeds rely on other help. Furry chicories grip the bark with little claws in search of a sequoia cone's green scales to feast on. The seeds, too small for a meal, fall to the ground and, with luck, may sprout. The long horned beetle lays its eggs on a cone. When the larvae hatch, they eat through the scales and part of the stem, causing the cone to dry and open. Again, the seed falls. Buried in the earth, a sequoia's roots reach outward, creating a hidden foundation as wide as the tree is tall. Each day, a large sequoia's roots absorb enough water to fill more than eight bathtubs. From across the forest, a sequoia's colorful bark almost glows. Thicker at the tree's base than at the top, the spongy bark swells into buttresses that support the sequoia's growing bulk. How long will it take for a new sequoia seedling to become so big? Humans can live more than 80 years, a mere blink in the life of a sequoia. After two human lifetimes, a sequoia will have grown old enough to make cones. With enough sunlight, air, and water, a mighty sequoia can live more than 30 human lifetimes. Oh my goodness. Imagine a sequoia so old and so huge, not even a ring of 20 children holding hands could hug it. So that means if 20 kiddos held hands all around the sequoia tree, that wouldn't be enough kids to hug a sequoia. That's how large they are. Some are even grander, giants among giants. An old sequoia's trunk may be hollowed out by fire. Its crown, once pointed like a pyramid, is now a snag top broken by lightning and wind. Lower branches grow upward, filling openings in the canopy. 
the expanded crown holds more leaves, which means more food for growing. Even black and scarred, an old sequoia can produce a gallon of tiny seeds, more than 300,000 each year, and the sequoia lives on. Over time, such immensity can harm an ancient sequoia. Season after season, its branches thicken and grow heavy. Broader than nearby pines and cedars, the gray branches overwhelm the damaged trunk and shallow roots, and the sequoia falls. Shaking the ground upon impact, the tree shatters into car-sized blocks and toothpick tiny pieces, and still the sequoia lives on. Stretched across the forest floor, the fallen sequoia decomposes over hundreds of years. The massive trunk now rests side by side with new seedlings reaching for golden beams of light. The cycle of the giants begins again with one tiny seed. Are you ready to go see a tiny sequoia sapling? When we went to Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks, we purchased a little sapling this big and we planted it in a big pot. So follow me and I'll show it to you. So believe it or not, this is going to grow into a sequoia tree, hopefully, if we take really good care of it. When, when my family and I went to Sequoia National Park and Kings Canyon to do some camping, we purchased a little sapling. My daughter wanted to purchase it and plant it in the garden. So um, the rule is you water it when the dirt, it, the soil is dry. So it needs to get completely dry between waterings. And I feel under here that it's still a little damp, so we're not gonna water it today, but maybe we'll water it next time. But what I wanted to do, we planted it about three weeks ago. What I wanna do is measure it, because I wanna just keep track of how much it's growing. So I've brought a ruler, and a ruler is a tool that we use to measure and you can see from this line to this number one that's one inch and from this line to the number two that's two inches and from this line to the number three is three inches and then that's four inches and five inches and this one goes all the way to 18 your ruler may only go up to 12 but this is the way we measure so my finger is just about three inches. See where it ends? At the three. So let's put this in the ground and see the sequoia is just about six inches. Do you see that right there is the tallest little branch at six inches. So that's how tall it is. So every so often we will um, we'll measure it and we'll water it and we'll continue to watch it grow. One day, hopefully, it'll be a giant sequoia, just like at the national parks, hundreds of years old. So this, it's a slow growing tree, but we'll keep an eye on it. 